What's up everybody, Christian James here. Today's video, women say they don't need men. Is that true? Let's go. Do we need men? <laughs> Most answered very quickly, no. <laughs> and only one said she thought women needed a man in their lives, only one. But when men were asked a similar question, do we need women, most of them said yes. <laughs> so why do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, love it. And by the way, I want to I wanna differentiate between straight men and gay men, because I think I, I would die without gay men. Nobody can gossip like gay men. Nobody can help you accessorize like gay men. Nobody can help you uh, from keep you from doing harm to, your, to yourself uh, like gay men. But with the exception of somebody like Steve, I think Steve is very self-sufficient. That's Joy's husband. But like he is. my he is. husband, it takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving, and living in his own filth. He can, really? you know. Yeah. But you, no. guys, but you guys feel you guys are married I, to people I have that are a, more... I have Handy Manny at home. Who in the world wants to be married to somebody like that? Somebody that talks shit about you on national TV. The only men she needs in life are gay men. The car, built by straight men. The building you're in was built by straight men. The industry you're in was probably built by straight men. The Everything that you're using in front of you, the electronics, straight men. And again, gay guys can do these things. It's not a stereotypical, they'll do them. And there's way less gay guys percentage-wise than there is straight guys. I think LGBTQ equals like 7% of America or something. So it's not a very large number. You know, they get a whole month. With a wife like that, who the hell needs an enemy? He can order food. He can get a maid. And he can go to cook. He doesn't really need you very much. But by all means, thanks for shitting on your husband on national television. I hope he divorces you, dumbass. Things go bump in the night. He's the one that goes downstairs. When there's a bug to be exterminated, he does the extermination. Nope. When there is something to be fixed, he fixes it. He throws out the trash and he Still throws know. out the recyclables. I enjoy all the man stuff. So, so my, let's not, wait a second. I know what you're going to say. Okay. She's really talking about a servant. Let's face it. No, it's a handyman. Well, well, she's it's, talking no, about. No, it's a handy manny. Oh, it's a handy man with benefits. We do not. Have, well, but but the things that you're describing, you could pay somebody to do that. We're not talking about that. What about the inner life of a man? That's what this is. I about. need my man three to four times a week. And oh, <laughs> good for you guys. And then the rest of the time, I need a wife. Because I've always said Everyone that... needs a wife. No, I tease Vicky, my producer, in the morning. I was like, if you'd like to join Max and I, not in that way, but like, Vicky and I could kill it as a household mm -hmm. runners. Like, a, yeah. we would be laughing, giggling, doing all the things, and Max would be so psyched I was wasting all my words somewhere else anyway. <laughs> so it would be a perfect combo. And, and the other day, Caleb said to me, this is my youngest son, he said, Mama, I want a spare mom. And I didn't know what he meant. Oh. And he's like, he said, Genevieve has a spare mom. And I realized the parents were divorced. Nanny? No, oh. a, a divorced, a, an extra mom. mom. Like two moms. Oh. Oh. And so I asked him, because at first I was a little wounded. I was like, what am I not doing? You know. And he's like, no, I just think at bedtime, you always have to pay attention to the other kids too. And if we had a spare mom, you, dad, and you could, you know, then you just get to focus on me. And it was yeah. so sweet. So it was sweet that your kid would like you to ultimately get divorced. So the other kids can have time with the other mom and then you can have time with that kid. That is the dumbest thing to find sweet in life. This is why kids need fathers more than anything else. Kids need their mom so about the age of five. After that, everything they need to learn is from a father figure. Discipline, respect, hard work, focus, accountability, which these women have none of. So the one woman described her husband as useless, essentially a toddler. The other one described her husband as a man. And then it was like, well, you could pay somebody to do that. No shit. You can pay anybody to do anything, you fucking halfwit. Anybody can literally be paid to do anything in the world. Open heart surgery, brain surgery, defusing a bomb, being an OnlyFans girl, whatever you want to do. Rent a friend, cuddling, making your bed, whatever. You get a, a person to do anything. So she's describing a masculine man, a man who takes care of the house, takes care of her, takes care of the bumps in the night, does whatever needs to be done from a masculine perspective, and she finds that in a handyman because she must be like the first lady married to a cuck.
me too. But in life, like, I need my husband. I don't know if I need any other men, but he is irreplaceable. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, I think so. But that's I mean, the whole thing. We like our husbands. We just don't need men beyond that. I mean, yeah, wait, wait till you're married 20 years and you'll see how replaceable well, they are. The reason that women, I think that the reason women can stay married for as long as they do is because they have a lot of girlfriends. They have a village. They have girlfriends. Because I always have to initiate the conversations. He'll he'll step up, but I have I to start you were saying, initiate. Oh, I don't we don't want to talk to you. We've talked to you a lot of times. Look, I've been with my lady for like going on three years. I don't want to talk to her that much either. Nothing against her. We talk all the time, but I don't want to just chit chat. What do I want to chit chat for? I talk to people all day at my business that I'm doing this right now. I'm talking all the goddamn time. Sometimes we just want to be fucking quiet. Like, what are you thinking about? Nothing. You must be thinking about something. No, I'm just sitting here watching the game, watching TV, scratching my nutsack, whatever. You must be thinking about something. You're right, I'm thinking about something. At this point, I'm thinking about how much you get on my fucking nerves. My here, who are girlfriends oh. for 50 years since they were in kindergarten. Oh, I love and, that. It's that, and, and they were saying yesterday that they've gone through divorces, they've gone through challenges, and they're, and having that village of women has made it possible. Well, we for are them. more collaborative than men. I think yeah. there have been studies that say that women have much more, much closer friendship relationships than men do. Because I, again, have, I think we have to make a, difference, women, a, a differentiate gay men. No, gay men are, are in, their, of, in their own category. category. Yeah, yeah, but we're, we're not married to gay men, okay? Oh. But no, women women have conversations about their feelings. Men talk about it's sports, cars, yeah. all that stuff. I don't know. Here's the difference, ladies, between masculine relationships and feminine relationships. You guys can talk about your feelings, talk about your sex life, talk about your work life, talk about whatever you want, your hopes, your dreams, your actual dreams, your fucking your astrology, whatever. What he meant by that when he said that, the way he was saying it, whatever you want to talk about, talk to him about. A male friendship is, I don't need to talk to you all the time, but if you call me at 3 a.m. and say, I need you at my house, I'll be at your house at 3.15. Like my buddy before, he texted me, his dad died. I got in the cab with a bottle, within half an hour I was at his house, 45 minutes. We don't talk all the time. I see him like once every six weeks. We don't chat on the phone. We barely text. Like, hey, you good for, for Saturday? I'm good for Saturday. It's a male relationship. We will discuss shit face to face, and our relationship is not based on continuous contact.